I got into tattooing kind of on accident. I've always been into making art. Started hanging out at a tattoo shop. Got the guy to start showing me some stuff. From there, I just started learning by doing it. You know, I've, I've definitely valued every experience that I've had at every tattoo shop. This by far is the most mature environment, an environment where, you know, everybody's kind of feeding off of each other and everybody has a similar goal. Some of my biggest influences are people that are directly around me. Uh, you know, I'm here majority of the time. Um, a lot of my life is spent at Under the Needle. I've always loved building tattoo machines, learning the mechanics of tattoo machines. I, I really want to know every aspect of my trade and be completely immersed in every aspect of my trade so that I, I just know it. Pulling machines apart and putting them back together and rebuilding them. Uh, it's not so much about making a profit off of tattoo machines. Uh, I don't, I don't want to be building tattoo machines to sell them, but I want to know why they, they run the way they do. And it's definitely helped being able to, to make a machine that runs specifically for me. Ever since I've been into tattoos and tattooing, I've always been interested in and intrigued by the traditional American tattoos and Japanese tattoos. But it's about the client more so than anything. I'm providing a service. I try to make a drawing that's uh, what the client's looking for and, and uh, make them happy more so than anything. So I want to give the client the tattoo that they want and the best tattoo that they can get.